Hello there, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to see an introduction to the ABP No Layers template. This is a new template which is available in the ABP Web Application Framework and it was released recently uh, along the version 5 of the ABP Framework. We can uh, see how to get started uh, with this uh, new app template. One uh, important thing to know regarding the uh, No Layer app template is an experimental template so there's no official support uh, they are just experimenting on this um template layer let's get started okay so um the first step is make sure you have um, um cli updated um because the cli the cli can be updated using this command here uh, this is a normal .NET command. Make sure you have .NET installed and then C uh, ABP CLI installed. And if you are installing the CLI, that's just perfectly fine. But if you already have a old version of the CLI, just update the CLI. And once you have a latest version um, of the CLI installed, then you can run uh, this uh, ABP command uh, with the template name app no layers. Uh, just uh, copy this and then you can go and paste it in your uh, terminal. And right now I'm just uh, mentioning my um, app name as acme.bookstore. Uh, this is a default uh, example name available in the app. And then press enter. You will see that um, the version and the template name. So you can see the version of my CLI is 5.1.3 and the template it shows is app no layers let's uh, go and see what's inside this template okay so you can uh, see the you can see the um, project here and you only see one project inside the uh, inside this folder so maybe i will zoom a little bit okay now we have uh, one project which is acme.bookstore because there is no layer we have removed all the um, uh, domain driven design uh, principles because the normal app application will follow the domain driven principle and then have a contract project and the editing from a core project but uh, in this no layer uh, application that is um, all those um, projects are removed and then replaced with folders so uh, there are some folders missing because you don't need them it's only needed in the domain driven design this is like uh, creating uh, a file new .NET Core application. So in the data, you have uh, migration uh, classes. In entities, you have uh, empty uh, entities because there is nothing comes. It's a prop for empty application. Localization has basic localization uh, for the inbuilt uh, modules and migration uh, use. It's a default migration as um, SQL Server, but you can easily change that. Object mapping is for auto mapper and uh, there is a empty default page available and the services are empty and then the basic uh, javascript files are available in the ww lib ww root lib you can come and check the patch, uh, package package.json here you have the basic theme uh, of uh, mvc and this is where all the things are configured so this is the module and you can see uh, it uses all the core modules and uh, they have properly commented uh, what are the framework project modules and then these are the account project modules and then this is the identity module audit logging permission tenant management and feature management and settings management so what you're going to get is you're going to get all the features of the default app application but instead of uh, layering it in five or six projects um, you are just getting one project and the, in this one project it has only one module and that module kind of loads all the predefined modules and then um, it will make it work for you so uh, there are basic configurations uh, if you are uh, uh, if you are familiar with ABP, these things looks familiar because uh, we do the same thing in the domain driven design projects as well. We configure multi tenancy, we configure uh, URLs. Uh, these are for bundling, and that is this for authentication. Uh, it, it uses JWT. It's the same and uh, localization and uh, and then exceptions and uh, virtual files and then there is also auto apis available and then there is a swagger available and 
and uh, AutoMapper and then EF Core. So all the functionalities, we, we are not going to miss anything. It's not like a minimized version. It, it has all the features available, but in a single layer project. Um, and the important thing is uh, it also has an identity server enabled in this. So uh, you are actually going to see uh, you or your the users are going to be using the identity server uh, data tables. It is pretty easy to remove identity server because uh, when you come and check the app config, we don't have any uh, clients here. We are not registering um, the clients and we are not doing any spa authentication. So uh, maybe I will do a video on, on that, like how to remove um, identity server from this uh, default um, uh, no layer template. Uh, um, maybe give a comment uh, in the video to let me know that you will be interested in it. Um, yeah. So, and you can see here um, the database migration project is also missing. So for migrations, they have created a migrations um, migration service here. So uh, in this migration service, uh, you will see a data seeder and a, a EF core um, DB migrator. And uh, for that, in the migrate async method, you have um, a migration a migration for database uh, with tenants. And then uh, it also seeds the username. So it will seed the default user, which is admin, and then default password, the default password of um, ABP. Um, okay, so since we have all these things and we already have a migration um, available as a default, let's see um, how to run the migration. So if you come to the program files, you will see this. Um, uh, you will see that they are looking for a uh, 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 argument. So the argument is dash dash migrate database. And where they are checking is the, here, they are checking in the arguments is the migration is available or not. So we can go and run, uh, let's say, okay, this is our project. And now we can go and do dot net run or we can do dot net migrate database. So we have two options here. So this is the first time we are running. We will do a migration first. So I will do dot net run dash dash migrate database. So this is the migrate command they are looking for. And where that's configured, that's configured in line number 70 in is migrate database. And this is in the program.cs. It's not in the modules file. So the modules file is here. And then that this is the main um, program.cs file, and it's actually you uh, just one file. We removed um, um, the the startup file was removed um, from this um, template. So go to the program.cs. You will see the um, this migration database, and then it just checks this migrate database is available. And if it is available, they're getting the service, which is bookstore migrate service, and then calling the method migrate. And that's when this um, migrate methods uh, will call. So let's first go and run the migration and then, no, let's uh, build it first. Okay, our build is done. Now let's do the migration. Okay, our migrations are done. We can come and then check. <sighs> By running .NET, you can do either .NET run or uh, .NET watch. Both will work. I will do .NET run. Okay, so we have the application running. Okay, as you can see, the basic application is running and it just has one simple, very welcome screen. Let's try to log in. We can, uh, okay, we logged in. We have the administration roles page, users page, and tenant management page, and then the settings page. All the pages are working. Uh, you have a profile. Profile is working. And if you want to go and check out the, uh, the APIs, your swagger is working. So almost all the functionalities are there. And from this, you can keep developing your um, 
application since there is identity server uh, already inbuilt you can actually uh, use this as a api endpoint or an api for your um sorry uh, for your um i don't know um, your angular app or your react app uh, but uh, these you have to do the seeding um, manually by yourself so there is no infrastructure provided for uh, you here because you can come and see there is only auth server and self url and auth server is actually it's just pointing to itself um so basically you just get a very bare bone version of um the uh, default uh, app app but if, if you want you can add an angular app and then it will just work fine you, you just have to add that client manually and uh, you can find those code in the domain driven design app uh, or the default app template yes um, that's uh, pretty much it for this video uh, if you liked it give it a thumbs up and then uh, subscribe to the channel i will try to do uh, another video on how to remove uh, identity server uh, from uh, this project uh, because it's pretty bare bone and um, identity server is going to be overkill for most of the projects um yeah make sure you subscribe uh, to get um i will see you soon in another video bye bye